the heavies light heavyweight division contest Shakti Singh taking on Gujarat Warriors against Amitabha from Mumbai may next we'll be right back ladies and gentlemen put your hands together for Amitabha here we go ladies and gentlemen introducing Amit Thapa representing the Mumbai Maniacs here tonight in the light heavyweight division. This guy is built like a tank. He's clearly got a very powerful build, strong striker. He's fought all over the world. He's been trained a little bit in the US. Good ground and pound. He's ready to go wherever the fight goes. So he moved to Dubai uh, a bunch of years ago, but he started training with Team Noguera. He started working his ground game in that gym. He was he was also training in Albuquerque, New Mexico with uh, Jackson Wink MMA. So this guy comes in with a lot of international training experience. He's got some good coaching in the last few years. Last I saw him was two years ago in Dubai fighting for the Super Fight League. He had a great showing, but he told me tonight he should watch out for something spectacular. Well, I'm looking forward to it. As you talked about, he trained with the Nogueras. He's trained at Greg Jackson. Absolutely incredible gyms. Lots of experience. He's been doing this for seven years. And as we talked about, training with some of the best in the world. And so often, having good training partners are the difference between winning and losing a fight. And his opponent making his way to the cage. Shakti Singh! You can see from the crowd reaction, lot of support for Shakti Singh representing the Gujarat Warriors here today. Coming in originally with the judo and wrestling background, transitioned over to the entire sport of MMA. He comes in with the wrestling background. And when you've got a wrestler coming in, you gotta be aware of their overhand right or left, depending on their stance. Wrestlers tend to set a lot more weight on their back leg, allows them to drive off and really turn their strikes through, punch through the head. So Amit's gotta be very careful of that. Now, and likewise, the Shakti have to be careful of Amit's power. Amit has some explosive striking. Does some great work in the clinch. This is going to be a great battle. And once again, it is going to come down to the final fight of the night. Not only is the winner going to win for themselves, but their is going to give their team the win. Here we go to the tail of the tape. Shakti Singh from the Gujarat Warriors taking on Amit Thapa from the Mumbai Maniacs. Amit, the elder, 30 years of age, Weighed in slightly heavier than his opponent. Both fighters share even experienced track record. And now, introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, his style, mixed martial arts. He weighed in at 93 kilograms, representing the Mumbai Maniacs. Give it up for Amit Tapa! And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. His style, mixed martial arts and freestyle. He weighed it at 90.3 kilograms. Representing Gujarat Warriors. Give it up for Shakti Singh. Ladies and gentlemen, as the action begins, the referee for the fight, Lal Rosama. Gentlemen, listen to my commands at all times. Watch out for the falls. Let's have a clean and technical fight. Touch gloves and back to corners. Here we go, light heavyweight contest. There is so much riding on the line. Whoever, both fighters are 3-0. That means whoever gets the loss here not only has their first pro loss, but their team is going to lose. There is so much, both personally and for the team. Super Fight League is the most exciting organization 
in the world for this very reason. For this specific reason, Super Fight League keeps you out of the seats. Amit Tapa representing the Mumbai Maniac. Shakti coming over immediately looking for that takedown. Amit trying to get that underhook there. He might be looking for Shakti immediately going in for that takedown, going back to his wrestling roots. Tapa's doing a good job about getting that arm across the face, pushing it away, using it to create space. I'd like to see him start right there, pummeling in for that underhook, using it, done. using it to turn Singh to the cage just like that. Start working some short knees, damage those legs, or go for the takedown. Straight in the mount is Amit Tapa. Easily done. He's talking to him from this position. We can't really hear. He's oh, huge elbow by Tapa. That was heavy. Heavy, heavy elbows. Good job by Shakti here. He's trying to wall walk. Shakti doing a good job of staying calm. But those are some vicious elbows. He needs to get out of here. He needs to take a chance. He is split open by one of those elbows. That is a nasty cut in a fairly bad oh, place. Oh man, that is a bad cut. That was the first elbow that, oh, the referee's seen enough. And that, that was clinical for Amit Tapa hey, taking I'm Mumbai I'm into the lead here tonight. Man, that was quick. That was a bad, bad cut. It was that huge elbow that cut him open. That was a bad cut. The referee did a good job of stepping in. The fight was over. Uh, Singh had turned away. He wasn't engaging, working back. He was only going to take more damage. Excellent showing from Amit Tapa. Fantastic use of the striking. Uh, grappling, transitioning straight into mount, and some dangerous ground and pound, like we mentioned just about the fight. Ground and pound. Man, and so, you know, that gives the Mumbai Maniacs four points, taking the total tally to 15. So they are your winners here tonight. And what a close fight it was. It was only a two-point victory. Only a two-point victory. That's the point differential. But they get the valuable three points in their bracket, putting them alongside Bangalore. But with the scoring system, depending on how much you win by, that's going to affect who makes the, the semis and the finals. I am number one. Unbelievable night of fights. It could not have asked for more. Highlights how amazing this scoring system is. Big points can come out of nowhere. Ladies and gentlemen, Ref Rozawa called a stop to the fight in the first round in 1 minute and 16 seconds, declaring the winner by TKO from the red corner, Amit Tapa! Ladies and gentlemen, these leave the Mumbai Maniacs with a score of 15 points. Man, that was a great fight. Amit Tapa, very happy. Very, very happy with himself here tonight. He had a fantastic showing. He came out and fought an undefeated fighter and destroyed him. That was a great fight. We're gonna go to a quick break. Stay tuned for more Super Fight League action when we come back.